Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, today I want to give you some instruction to uh, import cryptocurrency uh, historical data and uh, real-time data into your Google Sheet. So let's dive into the Google Sheet. So first of all, I will provide you with two documents one is the Google Apps script code which you can use it uh, to copy on your Google Apps script and another is the API key uh, API of uh, two and three uh, uh, crypto exchanges one is from uh, HUB crypto exchange and another is uh, Cocoin and uh, the finally, uh, which is the uh, mostly used uh, website for cryptocurrency, is CoinMarketCap, which is so came in handy. And uh, so first, you need to type sheet.new. Okay. From this apart uh, you have to click on the app script to go to the Google app script the Google app script uh, language is JavaScript and uh, if you can do with JavaScript you know, so uh, nothing to be weird for you okay In the Google Apps script, you can uh, you can uh, add several codes. For example, script HTML here, but I can I I don't want to uh, write another code, uh, and I, I want to you just uh, copy this code to do uh, the uh, data fetching from cryptocurrency okay all uh, thing that we need to is to copy the import JSON in the if we copy this script to our Google Apps script uh, one formula will be added to our Google sheet and we can fetch the date the cryptocurrency prices so easily so uh, we have to select all and copy and paste here and we have to delete these three lines okay and paste here and save it okay this is first step the second step is that you have to run this code uh, to give the permission of this code to your Google account to run it on your Google sheet okay run and we have to review permission to review okay advance go and allow okay we have to wait until it is start and completed yes it is completed the code is run and the permission has been given okay if you go back to the Google sheet the first sheet uh, the first cell uh, will be filled uh, out with your time zone which is uh, set it by that script okay I will delete it and equals import JSON okay all the thing is you need is just copy and paste the API okay copy and paste the API I will after um, this I will give you instruction how to get the API of our, of our cryptocurrency exchange okay uh, first we can try here be uh, cryptocurrency exchange this this API is 
uh, uh, is to fetch or get all of the uh, HUB exchange uh, cryptocurrencies in one list all of the prices all of the last prices until now will be fetched on our Google Sheet if we refresh it uh, the, the, the new price will be uh, will be updated okay we can copy and here import JSON and use the quotation mark and paste and quotation mark and parenthesis and enter so we can wait it until the data is fetched okay the data is fetched all of the this is open high low close the data uh, amount and all of the thing this is the current price not historical this is current price okay so there's another API from for example here be is that uh, you can the get the historical data uh, I will uh, I, I will instruct uh, how to get these APIs from the exchange website okay the API has some kind of parameters one parameter in this API is that period period is one day is four hour is uh, is uh, one hour which is uh, 60 minutes and 30 minutes and 15 minutes okay I will use the one day the size the size of HUB the maximum size of HUB I think is uh, 1500 so in this case I will use uh, 200 200 and the symbol the symbol has to be in format of that exchange in the HUB exchange uh, you can uh, use the lower case of the letters so for example BTC USDT and uh, the data of BTC USDT which is Bitcoin uh, which its pair is USDT U, uh, Tether and uh, and um, the time frame will be one day is daily time frame and the size will be 200 uh, it which means that 200 days uh, of historical price of Bitcoin will be fetched in your Google sheet automatically okay let's do that copy and and we can change this don't forget to use quotation before and after the API and that enter okay all of the data of 200 days ago till now has been fetched okay this is the timestamp the timestamp uh, is uh, the format of time in uh, all of the APIs okay open a uh, close low and high and all of the data is fast if you uh, delete it and then uh, back okay the data will be updated okay and we can also try other things like KuCoin. This is uh, this is Bitcoin price of uh, from 200 days ago uh, till now from HUB exchange. And then and uh, right now I want to try to uh, uh, get the KuCoin exchange uh, all of the cryptos in one place. And uncopy and paste it here. Okay. All of the all of the cryptos in KuCoin has been fetched, and the price is the price is uh, updated, which uh, which uh, 
the uh, uh, it, it, it means that the price here is matched with the exchange price and finally the coin market cap the coin market cap in cryptocurrency is uh, a wide use website to uh, check uh, the cryptocurrency prices so for for getting the crypto prices uh, from coin market cap you you have to get api key so if you go to the web uh, to get coin market cap and uh, sign up it you can get the api key it's it's not so difficult okay uh, and if you had some problem you can comment comment below and i will uh, instruct you how to do that it is so easy so the api structure of this is these tell this okay the limit is 1000 what it means the limit is the um, the number of cryptos how much do you want for example i want the first 1000 cryptos in one place and is uh, uh, it's updated price in one place okay i have chosen the 1000 and you have to write this and from the here till there uh, is your api keys api keys this is uh, specific for you and uh, this is my api key and uh, no worries you can use it <laughs> because uh, i have I, I it is just for instruction and uh, i won't use this api key again okay and uh, copy and this in our inside our formula and okay one yes quotation enter okay it is fished okay don't forget when you are uh, searching for API uh, from your exchange uh, you have to look at its parameters for example the parameter in uh, here be for period for example time frame is one day or uh, 60 min, min but in another exchange uh, maybe this is one edge so you have to be careful about uh, writing the correct parameter in each uh, case and another example is that uh, in Hubie the BTC USDT is uh, there's no dash but maybe in KuCoin uh, you have to mm, use a right dash uh, between the two pairs BTC dash USDT or you have to make capital of uh, all of the letters of the uh, of this and uh, for example if you want to get the API key you can search API API doc okay uh, He'll be, he'll be exchange. Okay. GitHub. Uh, almost all of the exchange has GitHub, and you can use that. First thing you have to look at is uh, the market data. Okay. What is the market data? Uh, if you use this in your API, you will get the uh, the market data. The first parameter is symbol, second is uh, per, uh, period, and the last one is size. For example, uh, as I have told you that the size of Hubie is two thousand. Okay. 
and from here you can you uh, you, uh, you have to search the base the base base okay base 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 okay the okay market and before this uh, uh the our keyword is base maybe in some uh in some exchanges uh the base is uh, different so we can okay introduction spot okay uh the spot the future and other things usdtm uh and the all of the api here if you want to get the spot price of crypto you have to click on this so uh okay api explore and uh okay market data client okay okay the bay uh, okay uh in in their case they will uh they will write the one example of the code okay the example is here api he'll be pro market history client okay you can use it so simple so simple okay all of the parameter is here symbol this period one day size the maximum in every exchange you can see the maximum size if you enter beyond maximum the, the data will won't be scrapped won't be fetched or imported in your google sheet you have to be careful about that okay we just can copy and paste this uh if you have challenge to find api of an exchange you can comment and i will definitely answer your question okay that's all uh in other videos i will introduce the most advanced feature of google sheet you know what you also can trade on cryptocurrency by google sheet and i will uh, create a video which is uh, the advanced feature of google sheet that you can use and you can trade on your own strategy by algorithm you can set it and the uh uh, your position will be opened uh, based on your algorithm by using Google Sheet because Google Sheet has in has access to the internet all of the time you don't your computer uh, shouldn't be uh, turned on and Google Sheet can uh, can run on the background on the on the Google server and uh, Google Sheet has uh javascript code you can use javascript code on the google app script and integrate it with that and uh, you can also uh, use google sheet for your trading okay that's all and uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel if you are new and thank you for watching